What's up everybody, Sarah Moon here, coming at you at sunset from the Charles River in Boston, Massachusetts. Matt, our launch driver, would like me to say a smooth and silky evening to you all, because that's what it is today. We got a 10 minute breathe on deck for y'all. And before we get started with it, I just want you to take a look for me at that big number that says slash 500 on your screen. That number is your split. It's a combination of two things. Number one, how, <laughs> how much pressure you're putting on those legs, the more pressure you're putting on through your feet in that footboard, the more resistance you're gonna feel in that handle. Number two, your rhythm. Your rhythm is denoted by that number that says S slash M, and it stands for strokes per minute. So a couple of those two things, you get that split. And that is something we're not gonna to be paying too, too much attention to today, aside from the fact that I want you to find a cruising speed. So that leaderboard board is gonna click on here in three seconds. We're gonna line on up. We're gonna do this whole thing at a 22 on that rhythm number. And in this first minute, I want you to find cruising speed. So a split that you feel you can sustain. It's a nice jog pace. And we're just gonna Keep it there. So, we'll just give another 35 seconds to get calibrated with that. Just find what's right for you here. And when I say jog pace, I mean, we could go longer for sure, but we got 10 minutes today. Perfect time to do an evening breathe. Of course, you can do this anytime of night, but this is optimal breathe weather and time of day. Good. So locking in in uh, five seconds here. Yeah. And now, I need you to take a look at that average split. And right in the center of your screen, we're holding that the whole rest of this time. Good. So today, flowing together, pushing through those feet, Keeping a nice sequence, keeping a nice rhythm. We got smooth music. We got <laughs> college kids laughing on the banks. <laughs> and we have a good time. So sitting tall. A 10 minute breathe. <laughs> it conjures memories for me of uh, when I was at college. It, Tufts, it's down the, down the road here. And uh, I would be between classes, have like an hour long break, and I would want to get extra steady state meters in. So I, you know, I had goals. I was working. And so I'd squeeze them in whenever I could. And often, you know, a typical workout would do 60 minutes or so, but sometimes I only had time for 20 or 40. And uh, I would just get out of class and sprint to the gym. And uh, get to the gym already sweaty, hop on the run machine, get as many minutes as I could fit, <laughs> and hop off and just go sweaty to the next class. It was, uh, <laughs> I think about doing that now, I'm like, that sounds awful. But I didn't even think twice about it in college. It was just the only way I was gonna fit it in. <laughs> so I think about that for us here. 10 minute breathe, great addition to any workout. But also if it's all the time you have today, that's fine. <laughs> Seriously, like just get enough to really get the blood moving, get some endorphins, send you on your way. If <laughs> we achieve nothing else today, we're gaining fitness, or we're getting some endorphins out of it. It's like a cup of coffee. All right? So, <laughs> send me breathe, honestly, might be the best thing I could prescribe to anyone on earth for anything. <laughs> Sit and tell them. Think about just how crazy in general <laughs> being in college and doing athletics and having a morning practice is. We would drive these vans full of us 
from practice. Crazy around campus. <laughs> Dropping all the kids off who had like 8 a.m. class. Cause we'd been on the water at five. Got an off at 7.30. <laughs> and uh, you just run into class with your friends and be like sopping wet. <laughs> sitting there, trying to pay attention to the lecture while you're sitting in your spot. It was pretty gross. <laughs> but you're with your friends. Everyone was doing it. It's fine. <laughs> Good, sitting tall. So, let's do a little check in here. You can see that as we're approaching the catch position, right here. Right before you go to take a stroke, you want to check on some things. And that is that your hips. So, right? You know, right above your butt, <laughs> where your seat is. But that stays behind. Your butt stays behind your shoulders. So if Matt, you want to come around inside of me. Matt, our launch driver is going to come show y'all what I mean right before this turn. So my hips, my butt, are behind my shoulders as I move into the catch. And that's going to make it so you can engage your glutes better. Your core is going to do the work it wants to do. And you're just going to get more out of this workout. So that's what we're going for. We're checking in. More than halfway down here. And still cruising at that 22. Still at that jog pace. Check in at the average split. Make sure it's not going anywhere. Yeah. Good. Beautiful. I'm talking about the row and the water. It was so windy today. And it just settled down as the sun went down. Now we've got the river to ourselves and it is so peaceful. You gotta be thankful for moments like this. Love it. Good. Sending it back. Nice work. Moving to this last song. I want you to think, how can I make what I'm doing easier, more efficient? It's funny, Matt and I just got a little spat Earlier, I said, what was it, what were we talking about? Something's more efficient. I said, it's more efficient. He said, oh, geese, geese flying together. So, geese flying a V shape so they can draft off of one another. And he said, you know, geese are lazy because they draft off of each other. I said, that's not lazy, that's efficient. He said, same thing. So, <laughs> I disagree. I want us to focus on how we can be as efficient as possible. So how can you get that split to stay the same, but feel like you're not working as hard for it? And that all comes with technique and relaxation. So let's relax our upper body here, because this is a place we hold a lot of tension, but don't necessarily realize it. And it can make it feel like we're working harder for something. So, the next few strokes, I want you to just shake out your arms as you move up that slide. Just shake them out. Relax that face, wiggle the fingers, do whatever you need to do. That makes it feel a little easier, a little more relaxed, lazier, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Stepping back, keeping that cruising speed. Breathe it back. Good. If you had to run from work, sit down on your hydro today, squeeze these minutes in, I understand you. <laughs> You're squeezing it in before uh, <laughs> in the lunch break while you work from home. <laughs> Step away for a minute. That's exactly what this workout is for. Breathe it back. Sit tall. We do what we can. We do it for us. Coming up on our last 60 seconds. Let's jam. Sit tall. 
Relax the upper body. Push with those legs. Hips behind shoulders. Yeah, nice strong core. Good. Send. Make it easy. Be lazy. <laughs> Yep. See, in rowing, if you try to draft off of someone, it just makes it worse for you because you ride in their little boat wake. <laughs> it makes your rowing worse. So we don't have that problem. But we can be efficient in other ways. Send, good. That says it works going into a current. All right. <laughs> That's neither here nor there. I like to stay out of people's way. Last few strokes, sit tall. Last one. Boom, 10 minutes, done and done. That's how we get them working, guys. Very nice job today. Thank you so much for joining me. Hope you learned something about squeeze a little working. <laughs> My name is Sarah Moon, and I'll see you next time. Bye.